Well, what about the the girl sports equivalent where they're smacking each other's butts? Around? That series fucking rules, and I'm really upset that like it has to just be ass slamming. Like it's actually yeah. The, it's there's actually, your sports anime girls. You don't get a serious one. You get like butt Olympics. It's actually the f oh goddamn it! You stuck up on me from behind. Um. It's actually seriously, like, on levels of, like, it's like if Hotka no Ken, it's like getting, like, a fucking Fist of the North Star, like... You're gonna have to put this in terms of, like, Nicktoons for me. Oh, I don't know if I can. What's a, what's a Fist of the North Star? Is it like Rocco's Modern Life? I don't know, Rocco Where really... for some reason Rocco just goes to a jackhammering competition. Okay, it's kind of like the jackhammering competition in Rock and Roll Life. You're gonna... Hey, thank you, Ren. Ren192 for following. You idiot. I also didn't take into account how loud that would be in the game I'm playing. <laughs> that actually scared <laughs> yeah. me. Also doesn't help that this is literally the smallest arena we've ever fought a ghost in. Um, but yeah, no, it's actually, like, a decently good, like, you got actually a good main character with, like, reason for wanting to get better at a sport. Um, oh god, I'm getting wrecked. You're thinking about butts and, and you can't concentrate. It, it is, like, it's an absurd anime, like, without a doubt. It, it, oh, wait a minute. I think I might have an example. Uh, oh, thank you, Shadow Ziggy. Hey, Ziggy. Ziggy. Always a good guy. Nice to have you around. Yep. Um, is it kind of like... Uh, whoa. Yeah, take a picture of the ghost. This is the one that vanishes. <laughs> You're bad at this. Wait, but this is, is it like, uh, you know how Ran the One Half was all about, like, wacky martial arts? Yes. Is, is, is it like this, except for, like, sports? Is it wacky sports? Imagine, like, take, take like, the good fighting arcs of Ran the One Half. And then, like, yeah, the yeah. one arc that I remember is there's this special fighting style that Genma tried to teach around the, which is like the cat, cat fist. Style, yeah. And it's, yeah, Thank and it's supposed sandwiches. to be like, hey, sandwiches. It's supposed to be like super deadly. Um, and he has, has this book to teach him how to do the cat fist. And it's like, okay, tie your tie a bunch of sausages around your child and then throw them in a pit of hungry cats. Yep. And he just does this over and over again, and then Rama has, like, this traumatic... P he gets super, traumatized by super cats. Super PTSD by cats. Yeah, okay, it's kind of like that. Yeah. But then, like, on the first first page of the book, it says that, but then on the second page, it's like, is something you should never do. Only an idiot would ever and, and teach not this how, to a son. It, only an idiot would ever teach this. Yeah, it, it's super tongue-in-cheek. Like, it, it knows what it is. All right. How did none of that was well, like? How could none of that be? You need to proper shooting angle. Like, you need to use your photograph, you know, photography eye. You need to line up the shot, get a good composition. Don't just click wildly. Every single piece has to be a work of art. And yet, you can't that... just phone it in. Yet that, which literally didn't have the ghost in the angle, worked great. Don't be afraid of mistakes. <laughs> there are no mistakes. There's just happy accidents. Yeah, only a ha happy, happy little Brexits. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, Ren. Apparently, Ren's having a little bit... Is anyone else having lag problems with the stream? Let us know, because apparently if you're not partnering with Twitch, they won't let you have options to lower the buy trade or whatever for some people that don't have good computers. Yeah. Like, I'm keeping an eye on drop frames just to make sure, but 
that can only really tell me so much. <sighs> um, but yeah, uh, K like I've, I've been reading the manga for Keijo and I went in, I went in it thinking like, oh man, this is going to be the, um, this is going to be like the stupidest, like they just want an excuse for butts like out there. And I'm like, oh wow, this has actually got me like as excited as other sports manga that I read. What other ones do you read? Uh, you read, probably I, love Tomorrow, Tomorrow Joe, Ashton no Joe. Oh God, yeah, Ashton no Joe, um, Ronin Blues, um, I Shield Twenty One is the best sports manga I've ever read in my life, and I don't, I like, don't care about football, and I Shield Twenty One is the most hype shit out there, and like that same level of getting me absolutely fucking hype for a sport I don't really care all that much about. It, it's like that exact same thing for, you know, but uh, what I can, all I, I only thing I ever knew about that game was from the like DOA three mini game or whatever it was. Cause I just saw like those, uh, like I, I would see like the videos of people saying like DOA X three is the, stupidest game ever and I would see them slamming their asses together like and yet that series gets me Kajo gets me that fucking hype They're, one of the girls ass literally turns into a dog and starts biting people like I'm trying to imagine how that would work with this do like the ass cheeks like pull apart and then it turns into like a dog's face no literally then, her like, it her bites ass, people her ass gets like Animorph taken out, and a dog's face is just now where her ass is, and it's biting her opponent. Marzipan, look. This is dog ass. I have a dog for an ass. <laughs> uh, pretty much. Um, it... Uh, again, I went in. It, it, well, yeah, literally, it's Yamcha's Wolf Fang Fist, but it's her, or it's, it's her ass, doing it instead. Um. Again, I went into it thinking it was going to be the lamest, dumbest shit on the face of the earth, and I ended up really liking it. Like, it's okay if you enjoy that stuff, like. For some things, I do have those kind of guilty pleasures, but you have to just go in knowing, okay, this is probably just going to be Oh, blank. you you absolutely have to go in knowing that, okay, this is going to be, um, this is going to be some fun bullshit. And again, kind of like with, um, Galgun, I like dumb things if they go in four trillion percent dumb. Speaking of, um... Have you looked at Trillion? I uh, I saw you playing that. That's it's like the Disgaea like game where you want. Yeah, to, like... it's Disgaea like. It's not I, it, one of the Disgaea people is involved. I it's one of the artists, right? Because that art style is definitely like. Yeah, but I don't think it's exactly the same person, or it might look similar just because it's like. <sighs> There's some kind of crossover, like Makai Kingdom or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Phantom Brave. Um, yeah. Quickly answering in chat, I don't actually know if the artist was an H manga artist who then went on to try and be legit, like Food Wars mangaka. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, I'll put it that way. But at this point, like, that can define so many artists of, like, Hey, I was a porn artist, and then I ended up making some uh, real good shit. The guy who made Azamanga Dio has a couple of porn comics that he drew. Yeah, like I don't think it's a big deal anymore. Like, cause, cause, like so many people do it. Some of them you can really fucking tell, like the High School of the Dead, which is another a perfect example of one of those like, um, 
I want to have some stupid fun with the series. I fucking loved High School of the Dead. And that was the one where the, the most famous gift from that was a guy shooting a bullet at a zombie and it, like, wanted curved around some tits. <laughs> like bullet time? It, complete bullet time and dodged through a bunch of titties, yeah. Like, you look at that for one second and go, okay, the person who drew this definitely did porn. Like, without a doubt. Like, is there anything wrong with somebody that just does porn? Um, just nothing but porn? At this point, it's so it's so common. And, like, I, I was telling you um, about, like, you know, Fate Stay Night and how that was... That kind of went the opposite. That was a series that started as a porn and, whoops, we got to make this game, like, we got to make this franchise legit, everybody. Because we accidentally made a really oh, popular that's series. the one. That's the one where it was like they had these really contrived reasons that the characters had to fuck each other, uh -huh. and then they changed it to where like not so con like they're not fucking anymore; they're doing something else. Yeah, because the artist who did that at the time really didn't want to do porn anymore, but porn really sells, so they gotta do it. So they're like, well. We had a really big fight with this guy, and they're going to be coming back for round two, and King, literally King Arthur, but a female, um, she's spent from exerting too much energy in that fight, quick Japanese boy who's the main character, I'm going to go start playing with her tits and finger blasting her, and you got to get hard and fuck us both, and it'll replenish her mana. <laughs> and that scene which comes out of fucking nowhere all of a sudden it's okay we have a really big franchise on our hands but a problem our main character has a three way scene like in a pivotal fight and we really have no way to write ourselves out of it so they attempted to write themselves out of it when they adapted it to the TV and people who played the game are like, we have literally no idea how the scene is going to come out. So we're all going to watch and see what happens. So what happens, you may ask? Well, he begins to kiss her. And instead of fucking her, he falls into a void where he fights a giant CGI dragon. <laughs> like a really cheap looking dragon. Like the cheap. It, it, this was this came out like 2006 and it was cheap for then. <laughs> The most CGI looking dragon. And you know, I hate that. I hate when series have like hand drawn stuff and then they have like really cheap looking CGI like intertwined with it. It was it was like as disjarring as like the Berserk CGI. Isn't like aren't people say that the Berserk show is like really bad? The Berserk the new Berserk one was fucking terrible because one thing, if you've never read Berserk, each panel of that is, like, intricately hand-drawn. That series takes forever for a new, um, a new chapter to come out, just because it takes them that much time to, you know, draw it. And then they did the cheapest CGI, like, fill-ins of all time. It looks terrible. But apparently the Blu-rays, they're fixing it and, like, going back and really taking the time to intricate that shit out. Uh, for anyone who's curious, give me one second. I'll find, um, I, let me, I want to actually drop this link in chat. It's actually, the, the best video that shows it is kind of the funniest one as well. Because the only way you're going to find the scene with the CGI dragon is, um, a, a, a mashup with uh, the whole Guile's theme goes with everything. Uh, anime music videos, yeah. And... It the literally... off-brand YouTube poops. Yep. And what it's... the fuck is going on with that Mario and Luigi Superstar video? What Superstar video? There was, like, a, a speed run of Mario and Luigi Superstar saga, and it looked all glitchy. And... Oh, I forgot you could see, like, half of my screen. Uh... Yeah. Well, oh, now it's gone. Uh, okay, I it's gone, but I think I know what you're talking about. 
That's, um, they did a run of Mario and Luigi and glitch, they did a glitch exhibition at the end. Okay. Um, but yeah, that video is so fucking perfect. And that entire scene in, that I linked there is, they're filling for sex. Um, <laughs> they're, they Wait, had to do it you for- need to, You need to defeat this CGI dragon. They had to do it for- In order to replenish my health. They had to do it for other routes as well, so instead of it happening for another route, um, it's, it's much better looking, because it came out like a couple years later, much better looking CGI dolphins come in and f start flowing. <laughs> Just dolphins, though. Just fucking dolphins. Nothing else flows. Nope. But, Certainly no scene uh, of him busting nut on her chest, like in the goddamn novel. <laughs> Uh, I know. I know. So, the worst part. But is there is there anything? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Everyone has their limits, you know. 